How many times has this happened to you? Either you or someone in your family doesn't quite get the shower curtain into the tub properly and you're stuck with a watery mess. Not only is this frustrating, it can damage your floor and that can lead to some really big problems. But you can put an end to your problems and give your bathroom a fresh new look by installing a glass shower door. Best of all, you can do it yourself. Getting rid of your curtain rod is fairly simple. This one's adjustable and fits to the wall. Others, you just have to remove a few screws. What we're going to do today is install a metal frame along the tub edge and the walls where the shower curtain used to be. The panels are made of tempered glass, which means they'll shatter safely without sharp edges if the glass should ever break. Many different manufacturers make shower door kits, and you can get them at your local hardware store or home center. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that your tub is level and also that the walls are plumb. And these look fine, but if you're off level by more than a quarter of an inch, you'll need to make some adjustments. Go to your local home center and get some shim stock like these. These are small metal pieces that can be placed underneath the track in the area where you need it to be level and that will solve your problem. Now, what you do next is measure the wall to wall distance in the center of the tub ledge because this is where your track is going to sit, minus 57 and a half. Now according to the instructions in your kit, you'll need to subtract just a fraction of an inch from that measurement to allow for the wall channel to sit behind the track. This is the measurement you'll use to cut your track. You'll need a hacksaw to make your cut. So measure and mark the track where it needs to be cut, which is here, and then use a square so that you have a straight line to follow. And remember, you should always wear safety goggles too. to put your track down. Make sure that you put the high side of the track, which is this side, towards the outside. That way it'll keep the water from spilling out from the tub onto your floor. I'm going to use this wall channel and put that in place and now I know I have enough room at each end for the channels to fit. And to be on the safe side, I'm going to tape that down so it doesn't fall on me. Now line this up and center it and then again use the masking tape to tape that down and hold it in place so that you can mark where the track is going. Mark that all the way down. Okay, now use the level on your wall channel to make your adjustments to put that where it needs to be. And then use your pencil and mark the three holes where you'll be drilling. Okay, we can get rid of this because now we're ready to drill. I'm using a hammer drill and a masonry bit to drill through the tile. But first, to protect your tile, you can use your masking tape to make an X over the mark. You'll still be able to see it, but what this is for is to keep your drill bit from walking or moving around on the tile. Now just to be on the safe side, anytime you're drilling into the wall, if you're unsure whether or not there's electrical wires, just turn off the power for that area that you're working. Now after you're finished drilling, you need to install wall anchors in each of the holes. So get rid of your tape. And then take your hammer to hammer these in. Before you install the track, make sure that you clean the ledge of the tub thoroughly so that your sealant will adhere properly. Now after that's clean, turn the track over and apply a thick continuous bead of sealant all the way down the track. Now the sealants come in a few different shades so you should be able to pick one to match the color of your tub. 
Again, make sure that you put the high side facing the outside of the tub. Line this up with your mark and then push this down into place. And if you see some sealant coming out from underneath, that's okay because that's letting you know you're going to have a good seal and you can clean that up later. After you've applied sealant to the back of your wall channel, slip this down behind the track and then push it up the wall to your wall anchors. Most kits will come with rubber bumpers. These need to be added to the anchor screw for the top and the bottom screw for each channel. Then put this into your wall anchor and screw it in. All right, that was the last screw for the other wall channel. Before I move on, this will be a good time to clean up all that excess sealant. You can take a paper towel to wipe away most of it and then use a damp sponge to finish cleaning it up. And you can just do this all the way around your frame to clean everything up. Before we install the top bar, which is called the header, again, I'm going to measure wall to wall. And that's only because your walls may vary just slightly. This is just a hair over 57 and a half. And you want to have the exact measurement so that you have a good tight fit. Let's go cut it. Now all you have to do is slip the header down over the wall channels and your frame is all set. We just have a couple of more steps to go and we're finished. For the door panels, you need to install two of the rollers on each door. And I'm installing these on the second hole from the top. The other holes are there just in case you need to make any adjustments. So tighten your screw up. And then I've got a small piece of track to show you how this works. When you install the door, put the roller up in the channel like that and that's how it works. All right, now just take your panel and put it up into the header and set those rollers down into the channel. See how nice that works? I've already installed the rollers on the outside door, so let's put this one in. Again, put this up into the header with the roller sitting down on the channels. Now if you'll notice, this door has a bottom piece that sits right on the high side of the track. So see, this one works nicely as well. But let's put it to the test. As you can see, the doors are doing a great job. Plus, we've just added a brand new look to this bathroom. Now for the average do-it-yourselfer, this will probably take you between two to three hours to complete the installation. Then, the only water you have to worry about is from you when you step out of the shower. Mm -hmm.